So I'm going to say from the top, because I've noticed this happens in every conversation. Every time you bring up trans rights, or if you have a discussion and you say trans, people tense up. I understand why. Hello and welcome to yet again another perfected edition. My name is the Olympian, aka Olympianus or Lumphenus with the Phoenix with the meanest of sex inches. Welcome to the tea party, sitting down with none other than Trevor Noah, the man that hails all the way from South Africa. Alright, you don't even need to understand how a map works. You just go from South of Africa to South Africa. You get it now, boy. Alright, now, some may argue one of the greatest African comedians who have ever graced the stage. Alright, to be fair, I, I was at some of his shows, alright? Pretty decent stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, but this kid has fallen from grace. So today, we're gonna put his non-waxing boozella blowing ass to the test. We live in a world where now there are people who are so transphobic that it makes it almost impossible for people who aren't to ask any questions, to have any conversations, to have any discourse that doesn't lump them in with transphobia. So Get the fuck out of America, Trevor! What you even doing here? What the fuck you even doing here? That's why I'm the GOAT! That is one of the stupidest questions, statements I've ever heard in my life, alright Trevor? I need you to listen up, alright? I need you to understand, to know your role, and shut your mouth, alright? So you're implying that you are, in fact, not transphobic because you want to ask some questions, but you don't understand how this works. You have to understand that you see that fine piece of ass sitting across the table from you. If you don't want to tap that ass, that makes you 100% organic transphobic. Do you want to tap that ass, Trevor, that's sitting right across the table from you? Because if you don't, that makes you transphobic. That means you can't ask no questions. All right, you've been lumped into transphobia already. Right, let me tell you something. Now, what about the real questions that needs to be answered? What about the questions that says, why is this shit still on TV? I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that you're joining us on the show to talk about this because it feels like one of the biggest issues in America. Stop the cow. <laughs> and yet no one can seem to talk about it. So let's start with your journey. Um, you've competed at some of the highest levels yeah. uh, in sports. And, you know, as your hoodie says, sport is a human right. That, that, is, that is what you believe in. Talk me through... <laughs> talk me through just a little bit of, of, of why you believe fighting for transgender athletes to compete in the categories they'd like to in sport is so important. So it's a fundamental tenet of, like, the Olympic movement that sport is a human right. So in their Olympic charter, in their fourth fundamental principle of Olympism, they say participation in sport is a human right, and they mean that at the competitive level. I can't believe how they edit the video, all right? Let me give you the raw footage of what that studio sounded like. And, you know, as your hoodie says, sport is a human right. That, that, is, that is what you believe in. Get the fuck off the stage. So it's a fundamental tenet of, like, the Olympic movement that sport is a human right. So in their Olympic charter, in their fourth fundamental principle of Olympism, they say participation in sport is a human right, and they mean that at the competitive level. Mm -hmm. No, it's really not. Yeah, it's really not. Sport is not a human right, all right? You can't just make up, make up things like that. And then I can say, all right, drinking coffee is a human right. I can even go a step further. I can say, tapping that ass of J-Lo, that's a human right. Some people would agree with me that that is even more of a human right than sports. Right, it's a made up thing. We can live without sports. What are you talking about? Now, if you don't know, right, this is a man that transitioned into a woman competing against women. I mean, this is the real life version of a Ferrari among Fiats. I want to tell you, right, you should be really careful who you're giving rights to, all right? Because there's a man at home sitting watching this shit, thinking, oh shit, man, I can transition within two years, and then I could compete against the greatest women and leave them in my wake. What's gonna happen when you're not on that podium and you're sitting in fifth place, licking your ball sack? What are you gonna say? That this is not a woman? You? He's a man? That just transitioned? He, he doesn't even know what a woman is? So you best be careful what you wish for, boy, because let me tell you something, that might just come to bite you in the ass. So, so, there are many elements to what you said, which I appreciate. So let, let's try to break them down. One thing that confuses me personally is... You see, that's the problem I have. Won't you, won't you go back to where you come from, man? Never come back. All right? Never come back. Go and get. Go and get. This man has a problem with Trump. All right? He's a hypocrite. He makes fun of Trump. Right? 
But what people don't understand is that he doesn't talk shit about his own president in South Africa. Let me tell you some the research that I've done, which you come to expect from the great one, the Olympian. All right. Did you know in South Africa they have they have stage six load shedding so long ago? And what that means is that you have six hours of electricity and then six hours of no electricity. And this goes on and on and on and on. He doesn't talk shit. He's like, yeah, we need to stand be behind our president here doing such a great job. Yeah. And then he's turning his back, talking that shit against Trump. All right. Trump, just because Trump's want to build a big ass wall around America, and first thing Trump's gonna do is ship his clown ass back to to South Africa with a note stapled on his hat, return to Santa, cause we are we are in fact tired of your bullshit, Trevor. Go and get. Just go right now and check the Twitter of these South African celebrities, man. They'll be tweeting, "Power back on." You know what I'm saying? It's on. You know what I'm saying? Power back home. And then you think like it's a show or some shit. That shit gets a million likes, a million retweets, man. After six hours, this motherfucker goes and say, man, power back off. You know what I'm saying, guys? Look at, look, you got to look after yourself. You know what I'm saying? Stay safe out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, it's, 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 it's a pimp world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think like, oh shit, man, you had a show that was on. You know what I'm saying? Six hours is like shows off. No, man. We're talking about li we're talking about literally electricity, man. Fucking power's on and then fucking power's off again, man. Now, he probably wants one of them to come rule America, but let me tell you something. All right? This is America. You best stand in line. All right? We're the greatest country in the world. No, but seriously, man, um, I give credit when credit is due. And um, I've, I've seen that Trevor's been getting a lot of hate, man. And most of it is because of the writing of the, you know, of the show. And it's really poor, you know. And he's been getting a lot of hate. But, you know, you give credit when credit is due, right? This is a great interview. I would recommend you watch it on The Daily Show. It's really great. I mean, Trevor, what he does really well is that he keeps the person engaged, all right? For us to ask a question just to destroy you, that will be easy, right? It's just one question, right trevor has been passive aggressive you know the whole interview and he's ke he's kept the person engaged and the person wanted to talk to him the person obviously just the more she talks right the more he talks whatever the more that person sounds like an idiot and i would recommend you watch it it's really great to keep a person for 15 minutes engaged you know and asking questions that it that takes some real balls and i gotta say i respect you trevor noah man you really you know, you you laid the pimp hand. Not as strong, you know, as like a flappy pimp hand, but still, pimp hand nonetheless, leave no doubt. Now, she goes on and makes a shitty uh, argument about testosterone levels, right? <laughs> like they're low or something, like there's a lot of things that she will not even understand, all right? If a man even busts a nut, all right, that testosterone level drops even lower than women, and his oestrogen levels rise up. You know, that's why I'm gonna say, Don't touch me, don't touch me, leave me alone, leave me alone. You know, that's so, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, recommend it. My name is the Olympian, aka Olympianas, Olympinas, with the finest, with the meanest of six inches. And we do what we always been done, little dang it, boy. We go for gold, leave no doubt. And now I'm gonna leave you with the soothing sounds of Trevor Noah singing. The national anthem of South Africa. <laughs>